In early 2016, aircraft began dropping from the sky, not literally, but close enough. Corrosion-related fatigue cracking appeared on intermediate pressure turbine blades. Reports from 2018 show 32. Boeing 787s grounded at one point due to Trent, 1,000 inspections, and some compiled sources cite up to 44 grounded globally as additional inspections expanded. Rolls-Royce recorded hundreds of millions to over £1 billion in charges related to Trent, 1,000 fixes across several reporting periods. This was just the beginning of a decade-long crisis that would fundamentally reshape the aviation engine market. The Rolls-Royce Trent 1000 entered service in October 2011 as one of two engine options for the Boeing 787 Dreamliner. All Nippon Airways took delivery of the first aircraft. The engine initially competed evenly with General Electric's Gen X option. By early 2018, market share stood at 681 GE orders against 420 Rolls-Royce orders out of 1,277 total commitments. That represented a 53.3% share for GE and 32.9% for Rolls-Royce. The problem started appearing almost immediately after entry into service. All Nippon Airways, the launch operator, became the first to identify durability issues related to blade erosion and cracking. By 2017, Rolls-Royce admitted durability issues extended to up to 500 engines across the global fleet. Turbine blades degraded faster than expected. Blades cracked, eroded or corroded at rates far beyond normal operational parameters. In one reporting period, 32 Boeing 787s sat on the ground due to Trent 1000 problems. That number would climb as more engines underwent mandatory inspections. The groundings forced airlines into severe operational disruption. Carriers had to cancel flights, reschedule routes, lease replacement aircraft and adjust long-haul operations. British Airways announced temporary adjustments to its Bahrain and Kuwait schedules related to Trent 1000 aircraft availability, though these route changes evolved over time and were not permanent cancellations. The airline pushed back its Kuala Lumpur service return from November to April and grounded six Boeing 787s. Virgin Atlantic, citing Trent 1000-related aircraft availability issues, postponed its planned 1st of May 2025 Accra route launch and delayed the resumption of Tel Aviv service, according to late 2024. Operational Updates Safety regulators stepped in with force. The US Federal Aviation Administration and European Aviation Safety Agency imposed stricter inspection requirements. In 2018, both agencies reduced the Boeing 787's extended operations certification from 330 minutes to 140 minutes for Trent 1000-powered aircraft. This meant planes could never operate more than 140 minutes flying time from the nearest usable airport. The restriction severely limited route planning for long-haul operations. Virgin Atlantic CEO Shai Weiss described the situation in stark terms at the airline's 2024 conference in London. He stated the company has been dealing with Trent 1000 issues for a decade starting from the launch of the plane. Weiss estimated the Trent 1000 runs just one-third of the cycles expected from a traditional engine before requiring maintenance intervention. He confirmed the airline expects these issues to persist through the whole of 2025. The financial damage proved catastrophic. In 2019, Rolls-Royce admitted the engine problems would take longer than expected to fix. The company announced additional engine removals and massive extra costs. The anticipated expense pushed into billions of pounds. Industry analysts reported the image of the Trent 1000 family became severely damaged. Airlines grew increasingly reluctant to order new 787s powered by Rolls-Royce engines. The market responded decisively. Air New Zealand, originally a Trent 1000 operator, ordered the General Electric Gen X-1B to power its latest order of 8 787-10s in 2019. All Nippon Airways, the Trent 1000's launch operator, switched to the Gen X for an incremental order of 787s in early 2020. British Airways, historically a Rolls-Royce customer, selected Gen X engines to power six new 787s at the 2024 Farnborough International Airshow. The numbers tell the complete story. 
Compiled industry databases show that from 2017 through October 2024, Boeing logged approximately 891 new 787 orders, with around 640 selecting Gen X and 96 selecting Trend 1000, while others had not declared an engine. As of recent data, Boeing has 948 Boeing 787s on order. Just 48 examples carry Rolls-Royce Trent 1000 engines. More than 10 times that number, 534 Dreamliners are on order with the Gen X engine option. General Electric now dominates the 787 engine market. The Gen X 1B powers two-thirds of all 787 aircraft currently in operation and has accumulated over 56 million flight hours. GE Aerospace reports a 99.98% dispatch rate and claims 1.4% better fuel consumption than the competition. The company states the Gen X achieves up to three times the time on wing of earlier Trent 1000 variants. Rolls-Royce attempted multiple fixes. After Package B and Package C releases failed, the manufacturer introduced the Trent 1000 TEN, incorporating elements from the newer Trent XWB with only 25% parts commonality with the original. The company announced a durability enhancement package promising to more than double engine time on wing. Certification remains pending as of late 2024. CEO Tufan Ergin Bilgit told Bloomberg that by the end of 2025, the company will have a very competitive engine. Airlines cite clear reasons for switching to GE. The Gen X shows fewer unplanned maintenance events and better overall reliability. For long-range, high-utilization aircraft like the 787, this stability became critical. Around 34% of the 1,189 Dreamliners delivered carry Rolls-Royce engines, but that proportion steadily decreases. The systemic nature of the Trent 1000 failures eroded fundamental trust. Norwegian Air blamed the problems in part for exiting long-haul travel. Air Tanzania's 787 remained grounded in Malaysia for over six months in 2024. The question shifted from whether Boeing will trust Rolls-Royce again to when, if ever, in early 2016, all Nippon Airways discovered corrosion-related fatigue cracking in intermediate pressure turbine blades on their Boeing 787 Dreamliner fleet. The Japanese airline was forced to cancel up to 300 flights as aircraft were pulled from service for emergency repairs. Only due to an engine, which was Rolls-Royce Trent 1000, not Boeing's design. Yet Boeing's Dreamliner took the public relations hit, while Rolls-Royce grappled with what would become a multi-billion dollar engineering disaster. The Trent 1000 entered service in October 2011 as one of two engine options for the Boeing 787 competing against General Electric's GENX. By early 2016, the engines appeared to maintain a dispatch reliability of 99.9%. That facade shattered when turbine blades began corroding and cracking at rates far exceeding design expectations. The corrosion problem stemmed from a design flaw in the turbine blades combined with environmental conditions created by new materials used in the intermediate pressure blades. Rolls-Royce had to ground as many as 44 aircraft initially. British Airways, Norwegian Air Shuttle, Virgin Atlantic and LATAM Airlines faced immediate operational chaos. Norwegian Air had engine troubles, cost them $120 million in passenger compensation alone. The low-cost carrier was forced to wet-lease replacement aircraft, including the Highfly Airbus, a 380 on multiple occasions. British Airways leased three Airbus A330s from Qatar Airways and later deployed an Air Belgium Airbus, a 340-300, on the daily Heathrow to Abu Dhabi route through late 2018. Virgin Atlantic grounded two aircraft at London Heathrow starting in September and October 2017. The financial toll on Rolls-Royce escalated rapidly. In 2018, the company reported an accounting charge of $315 million to cover repairs and airline compensation. By mid-2019, estimated costs exceeded £750 million through 2019, with potential additional costs of £200 million per year until 2022. In November 2019, Rolls-Royce announced it would take a £1.4 billion charge against 2019 operating profit, nearly doubling from the £790 million absorbed in 2018.
Total costs spread across 2017 through 2023 reached £2.4 billion, up from £1.6 billion, estimated by mid-2019. Airlines discovered the problems ran deeper than the initial turbine blade corrosion. In April 2018, regulatory agencies identified cracks in the intermediate pressure compressor blades on Trent 1000 Package C engines. The vibrating frequency of the compressor blades resonated with the engine frequency at high thrust magnifying vibration to levels that caused cracks to develop over time. The US Federal Aviation Administration and European Aviation Safety Agency slashed the inspection interval from every 300 flights to every 80 flights. Extended range operations suffered devastating restrictions. ETOPS certification dropped from 330 minutes to as low as 140 minutes for higher life engines, with some restricted to just 60 minutes. The limitations rendered transpolar flights impossible and ballooned costs on transocean routes. Air New Zealand reported that 31 aircraft required the shorter ETOPS rating, along with lower payload, to reduce required engine thrust. A failure of one engine would force the other to fly at cruise at full thrust. At its peak in mid-2018, 44 aircraft sat grounded, awaiting repairs, though Rolls-Royce had originally predicted 50. By April 2018, the number stood at 32 and climbed further as inspection failures mounted. One airline reported that Rolls-Royce warned them to expect a 40-50% to failure rate of affected engines during inspections. Nearly 30% of inspected Package C engines failed, forcing immediate removal from service. Rolls-Royce lacked spare engine inventory to return grounded aircraft to flight. Maintenance, repair and overhaul facilities became overwhelmed with Trent 1000 work, creating backlogs that also affected Trent 700 engines powering Airbus A330s. Air New Zealand waited months for engineering availability at Singapore Aero Engine Services, which is a joint venture between Rolls-Royce and Singapore Airlines. The airline produced an internal video explaining the situation to staff that subsequently became public in early 2018. Norwegian Air replaced engines on all 21 Dreamliners in its fleet. All Nippon Airways replaced 100 engines. The crisis pushed Norwegian toward abandoning long-haul operations entirely, with the carrier citing the Trent 1000 problems as a contributing factor. Air New Zealand, which had chosen the Trent 1000 in 2004 as the first airline to order the engine, switched to General Electric GENX-1B engines for eight new Boeing 787-10 aircraft in 2019. All Nippon Airways, the Trent 1000 launch operator, also defected to GE for an incremental 787 order in early 2020. The problems persisted into 2025. British Airways paused its London Heathrow to Abu Dhabi route between March 30th and October 25th, 2025 because of supply chain challenges impacting Trent 1000 production and repair. The route had only relaunched in April 2024 before becoming another casualty. A British Airways spokesperson stated they were disappointed to make further scheduled changes as delays to engine and parts delivery from Rolls-Royce continued. Rolls-Royce experienced problems, sourcing raw materials and parts used to make the engines, reducing output of new engines and delaying repairs to in-service engines. British Airways initially announced plans in November 2024 to end flights to Bahrain and Kuwait starting late March 2025, citing that the routes were no longer commercially viable. The decision to cancel the Bahrain route, which British Airways had operated for 92 years, sparked international outcry from UK politicians and Bahraini government officials who had not been consulted. The announcement coincided with Bahrain's King Hamad visiting the UK hosted by King Charles III during the monarch's Silver Jubilee year. Senior UK government officials criticised the move, stating it would send the wrong message about Britain's diplomatic intentions while harming UK business interests in the region. Facing pressure from stakeholders, British Airways reversed course on November 20th, 2024, confirming three weekly flights to Bahrain starting summer 2025, increasing to daily service by winter 2020. 5. Flights to Kuwait remain suspended under review. Virgin Atlantic CEO Shai Weiss addressed the crisis at the airline's UK conference in London in November 2024, describing a 10-year cycle of issues with the Trent 1000 since the engine's launch. Weiss stated the engines required three times more maintenance than traditional well-harnessed engines and could run just one-third of expected cycles before requiring intervention. 
The carrier postponed the relaunch of its Tel Aviv service from March 30, 2025 to winter 2025-26. Virgin Atlantic also pushed back its new Accra route from the planned May 1, 2025 launch to October 2025. The carrier operates 17 Boeing 787-9 aircraft, all equipped with Trent 1000 engines, making it particularly vulnerable. One aircraft sat grounded in late 2024, with expectations of two grounded in 2025. Virgin Atlantic suspended its London Heathrow to Dallas-Fort Worth route from March 30, 2025, through summer planning to restart in winter. Air New Zealand suspended operations to Chicago between March 31st and October 25, 2025, owing to lack of spare Trent engines. The airline had four of its 14 Boeing 787-9s grounded for Trent-related issues. American Airlines trimmed schedules over summer 2025, suspending Miami to Paris service in May and delaying the Chicago O'Hare to Paris route from April to May due to Boeing 787 delivery delays. American Airlines operates 59 Boeing 787s with four aircraft presently out of service. Rolls-Royce established an internal Trent 1000 task force in 2024, bringing together teams from operations, supply chain, engineering, technology, safety, and planning. The company stated in late 2024 that it had increased Trent 1000 supply chain output by one-third, reducing time engine spend in maintenance, repair, and overhaul centers. A durability enhancement package reached final certification stages, with Rolls-Royce claiming it would more than double engine time on wing as part of £1 billion invested in product improvements. Despite these efforts, aerospace analyst Nick Cunningham warned that workforce shortages and global supply chain bottlenecks would continue impacting flights for years. The crisis transformed what should have been Boeing's flagship aircraft into a liability airline struggle to operate reliably all because of an engine Boeing didn't manufacture.